Hi, my name is Charlie Freda. I'm an artist in cohort 16 at Field Hall at SMU. This is part two of the series on how to set up a scale form menu. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up Flash to work with scale form. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be working with Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5 and the May 2011 version of UDK. The first thing you're going to need to do is to install scale form. You do this by coming up to the Help tab, clicking on it, coming down to Manage Extensions, click on that, and that's going to bring up this window. And then you're going to need to click Install, and then go to UDK, UDK 2010-12, Binaries, GFX, Click Tools. And when you get there, you're going to click on the Scale Form Click file, and click Open. I've already got it. It's right here, so I'm not going to click OK. That's going to let it install, and once it's done, you just click off of the manager and restart Flash. Once Flash is restarted, the next thing you're going to need to do is install the FX Media Player. You'll go up to Window, Other Panels, and then the Scale Form Launcher that you just uh, installed will be right there. Click on that. And that's going to bring up this little thing right here. Now, you're not going to have this or the FX Media Player profile just yet, so what you need to do is click on the plus and then click on this plus right here. And then you're going to need to navigate to UDK, UDK Binaries, GFX, and then click on the FX Media Player. Click Open. After you do that, you're going to get a prompt window. It doesn't show here because I've already done it, but just name it FX Media Player, and then in here, type in FX Media Player, and then click OK. And that'll give you the test with Media Player button you saw a moment ago. And this one right here. The next thing you're going to need to do is to go to Edit and Preferences, and then you click on action script and then come down here where it says language click on action script 2.0 settings and then in this window you're going to have this not be here so you're going to have to set it up so what you need to do is click on the plus right here to add a new path and then you're going to come to browse to new path so that you can set it to what's right here. So click on that. And then you're going to need to go to UDK, UDK Development, Flash, and click. And then click OK. And what that'll do is it'll put it down here. And what you're going to need to do is have it right here where I've got it at. So what you would need to do is have, click on that and then click the up arrow so that it would sit right here because you want it below the little period in above the local data classes and then you click OK and then you click OK again in the preferences window so now you have everything set up and you can go on to the next video